Welcome to episode 39. Oh, 39. Of the Mr. Courgette. And Mr. DBSB. Chili. And Zombie. Experience. experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that pretty smooth. That's awesome. Right. And, uh, for, well, um, yeah. Well, that, so I've just gone from being smooth to being bumbly. Fantastic. Yeah, so yeah, we've um, just... Yeah. Yesterday, we went to the Fiery Foods Festival mm. uh, down by the i360. Uh, in Brighton, yeah, and uh, oh, what a what a what a what a festival! And you've picked up something rather special. I've picked up several rather special uh, things. Yeah. So over the course of the next twenty odd episodes, yeah, we have several new things to try. We might have to do more episodes. Yes, yeah. we may have to. Yeah, <sighs> I know. For our like our two viewers out there, yeah, there's more coming. Um, so yeah, the various things. Well, there were lots of really cool um, stalls there this year. Um, to name a few, we had uh, Burning Desire, Grim Reaper, oh, Prices Grim Spices. Re Grim Reaper. Oh, use this code. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get ten percent off. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. You know it. Um, yeah, Prices Spices. Um, AussieHotSources.com were there as well. They had quite a few different things. Um, lots of various good stalls. Um, Mr. Vicky's Chili Mafia. Oh yes. Oh yes. But um, from the guys who did um, AussieHotSources.com, we got the world's hottest corn chips. So these were the world's hottest corn chips, and then they decided for a limited time only, a limited time only, they would infuse heat for extra kick. However you infuse heat for extra kick. Yeah. So... Um, just to give you a taster of what's coming, the ingredients for this are whole Australian corn, mm. um, vegetable oil, mm. Carolina Reaper chili, uh, scorpion chili, e. Naga chili, Grr. citric acid, Ooh, acid, um, and then some other things that are very much on the lower down ingredients list. Yeah. So, um, they are in theory rated at uh, 1.5 million on the Scoville. <laughs> so, from memory, that's yeah, that's quite a lot. I'm trying to think of a source that's around that level, but obviously from lava. the standard, yeah, pretty much. So these are lava, and we're going to be trying these. Um, it does say, "Do not consume on an empty stomach." So, um, luckily, I bought something for us to eat. Um, which is from our local uh, Oriental supermarket, and it's one of Gareth's favourite things. Mm. Food in a cat cat food uh, packet, mm. and this one is called Zing uh, Zooming Stinking Toffee uh, Tofu with Wild Pepper. Yay! Oh. So um, one of the things I like about this is uh, the cartoon on the back there. Uh, it says it's suitable for eating at a computer with friends, just having some beer with a friend, uh, talking about uh, a t-shirt uh, with a friend while you're out and about, sitting down and relaxing with a cup of tea, or just chilling out on the phone uh, while, while you've got a football by you. Those are the suitable times. Are we doing any of those? I um, think we're, we're, we might talk about hold hands. And we can hold hands. hands. Oh, t-shirts. Uh, uh, yeah. T-shirts. Oh. Yeah, we have several t-shirts. Oh. Yeah. Right, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So we've fulfilled well, that criteria. As DBFSB says, um, yeah, these packeted tofus are amongst some of my most favourite things. Mmm. They always look and smell delicious, not at all like cat food. <laughs> not Definitely, definitely not like cat food. Sorry, it's a bit oily. That that so, one leaks. So, so you're basically saying it's a pouch that's a bit oily. Yeah. Again, not at all like cat food. Oh. <laughs> For the viewers at home, I will let you make up your own mind. Not at all like cat food. <laughs> and oh. You know when they say stinky? Yeah. 
Should we have a smell? I, I can smell it. <laughs> I can't smell anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a care worker and I know that smell. <laughs> I wouldn't feed this to Mr. Tibbles. Um, right. Um, I'm going to put that there so it doesn't drip on stuff. We have forks and... Mm. Oh, it breaks easily, which is lucky. That, that's good. Is that all, is that all right for Can you? Can I have less than that, please? <laughs> I'd rather take my risk with the corn chips. Right. right, this is just to fill our stomachs. So yeah. we're, we're being safety first, fun mm, later. This looks appetising. Do you know what? Of all the cat food type tofus we've had, that's probably the best. I mean, it's not. T it's got a little tingle. It's not particularly spicy. Not. No. It tastes quite mushroomy rather than tofu-y. I mean, don't get me wrong. I never want to try it ever again. But of the ones we've had, it's definitely not the worst. It's got a yeah. horrible aftertaste. Uh, yeah, the aftertaste is, but yeah, it's got a very strange texture. Yeah, it's a bit like liver. From what we're, I remember having liver, and it's weird because. Being vegetarian, one of the few meats I missed is liver and kidney. Okay. Uh, so this could be my my liver alternative. Maybe cook with some onions. Oh yes. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Least said, soon as mended. Right. So yeah, we'll um, move on from yeah, that. Let's let's try some of the world's hottest corn chips to hopefully obliterate our taste buds to the point we never ever ever remember the stinky tofu. Yeah. Right. Oh, I can smell these. <laughs> right. Well, we'll open these and maybe you can smell these and it'll just take it yeah. all away. So, um, they are sealed uh, in a Ziploc bag. Oh, that's good. That is sensible because they're kind of not the kind of things you want to eat in one sitting, I guess. No, I'm guessing not. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to cat handedly try and open this. Do you want me to? Oh, oh, oh. 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 An actual. Oh. Am I going to royally mess this up, DBSB? What do you reckon? Quite possibly. Yeah. Oh, so it's not... Is it resealable? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Good. Right. Yeah. Isn't it? Okay. So. Ooh. Now, do you remember... Cast your mind back... When I when I put dried Carolina Reapers in the salt grinder, yeah, and basically we had Carolina Reaper salt and virtually killed ourselves. Yeah, yeah, that's what that smells like. It's. I'm looking forward to tasting it because my the initial smell mm. is a little bit cardboardy, okay. but that could be just because it's in the packaging. That could be the cardboard packaging. Yeah, but I I am getting a sort of like slight scent of hot chilies I'm definitely getting chilli I'm getting chilli dust all the dust yeah it's it really really does smell like when you've just had dry chilies out of a grinder yeah and then you just get a, like a bigger piece than you'd expect in the back of your throat mm -hmm. these could be awesome or they could be lethal yes so or both do you like to select your weapon okay. yeah they smell a lot better out of the packet we're just going to give it a go really aren't we yeah there's no sort of like you can't discern any real flavour from the smell. No, not really. You just have to go for it. Yeah. The chilli dust immediately goes to the back of your throat. Yeah. And it catches a bit. Um, they're really hot. They've got an immediate burn and quite a big build to it as well. Um, not that flavourful. I was expecting like a bit more salt yeah. or something just to... Um, bring out a flavour there. They're, oh, swallowing it. They are, they're very plain corn chips with a lot of heat. Um, I the heat am, is amazing. Don't get me wrong, the heat mm, is beautiful. I am a little disappointed with the flavour, to be honest. I was hoping for a bit more... Yeah. Uh, something. A bit more onion. A bit more... A bit something, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try another one? Uh, well, it's just... Yeah...
Oh, yeah, it's going under my, it's under my uh, yeah. tongue now. Right, should we try under again? Under tongue. Right. Yeah, very crunchy. With the mm. I got a bit more flavour in that one. Mm. Now it's a bit more spicy. Um, I think it would definitely benefit from a bit of paprika and some extra salt. Onion. Onion and garlic. Just uh, They're very dry. Yeah, I Cheers. think... It's showing off now. Um, Ooh. Yeah, um... Don't be wrong, the heat is brilliant. If you want to say you've tried the world's hottest corn chips, then it's worth trying the world's hottest corn chips. Um, would you make nachos with them? No. No, I think no. they would be better if you were to make a chili con carne and make it not too hot and then have the chips with the chili con carne. I thought you so, get more than one or two at a time. <sighs> <laughs> or with guacamole they're still building I reckon yeah. two of those was enough to write me off um, maybe not the ones to take into work um, you're not allowed to have if you have a cardiac condition I can see why you have some more cat food um, there are from me there are for the heat but yeah. there are for the flavour, but somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Oh, glad we tried them. A little bit bland, but the heat is really. Good. It's not overly. Ooh. Some things when they say the world's hottest, it just goes. Here's a load of a horrible heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yours. Whereas they they kind of thought about the heat and it's got a good sort of like build up and it's got good flavours yeah. of heat, but. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, there, there is a thumb sideways. Yeah, they're they're leaning up slightly for me. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Cool. So while DBSB finishes his cat food, I'll take you back to today's film. Oh yeah. So today's film is something I've wanted to see for a while, mm. which is Monster Brawl. <sighs> so Monster Brawl appears to be some sort of wrestling tournament. Featuring a zombie, a vampire, um, Frankenstein's monster, a werewolf, a cyclops, a mummy, a witch bitch. Oh. Whatever that is. Um, and it looks horrifically bad. Um, oh. But we managed to get this in a charity shop because all the best things come from charity shops. And it comes with the original art cards inside, including Zombie Man. That's an imaginative name. Exactly. So... By including the wrestler Zombie Man, we're calling it a zombie yeah. film. So, it combines two of our favourite things, which is zombies and wrestling. But, and Jimmy Hart. Mmm, Duke the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Yeah. Uh, but, and this has to be said, last time we got all over excited about wrestling and zombies together, we had wrestlers versus zombies, which was terrible. Uh, yeah. But in a good, terrible way. Um, mm, I don't know, I might have to refresh myself with our review. But something, something reminds me that we didn't enjoy it that much. Yeah. Apart from Shane Douglas's amazing heel turn. Spoilers. Yeah. Okay, so this time though, we will do Monster Brawl. You'll eat some more of that. I probably won't have any more of these. And we'll report back. Yes. Laters. Well, that was Monster Brawl. I think it... Well, it did exactly what it said out to do. It did, yeah. Um, it was part wrestling, part MMA, I think. You know, well, I kind of think it was very much a... Um, someone who is a, a wrestling promoter, small town wrestling promoter, had this idea and went for it. You reckon? Uh, yeah, it's like... I've only seen half of a Lucha, uh, a Lucha Underground. Okay. And it kind of reminded me of a low quality Lucha Underground. Okay. So, you know, it's kind of like this person sort of like thought, oh yeah, that's, uh, mm. yeah, I'd love to do 
a monster's pay-per-view. But does this predate Lucha Underground? Because this is about seven years old. I don't know. Um, oh, we'd have to look at the timeline. Yes, but yeah, it's it and it does it does the backstory of each fighter. It does like their specialties. Um, it is very uh, much like a wrestling. Pay yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It has the the bit before that has the, each of them doing their own promos, and then UFC style. It has the tail of the tape where it matches up all the fighters' attributes yeah. and stuff. Um, yeah, Jimmy Hart doing a massive bit of Jimmy Hart self promotion was brilliant. Yeah. Um, Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash well, being Kevin Nash. Nash. Yeah. Um, yeah, trying to pick out some of the fighters. I think I'm still pretty sure that Frankenstein is Kurgan. Um, but we'll we'll look it up. But I quite enjoyed it. Yes, I think it's... Uh, I mean, it's rubbish. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely yeah. terrible. But I really enjoyed Possibly it. Possibly a good, good trashy one to have with a few beers and a few mates around. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's what kaiju dream of doing a pay per view as yes um, more zombies than we were expecting yeah yeah the extra added zombie action which was good fun um, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, look, it's... you had you had a witch bitch you had a cyclops you had a mummy you had Frankenstein's monster you had and a werewolf and a, a swamp gut a swamp gut zombie man and. Who was the uh, Lady Vampire? Lady Vampire. So you had like eight different creatures, mixture of undead and creatures. And I kind of thought Swamp Gut was, uh, for all you comic fans out there, mm -hmm. was very much a kind of cop uh, based on uh, Swamp Thing. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. His whole... You could see he was getting annoyed with the hunters who were leaving cans around and he had litter all stuck inside him. Oh, and he was kind of like, oh, right, yeah, 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 that's one thing. And, the, the, uh, the makeup was great. Yeah. Really, really well done. It was really what well was done. needed. Yeah. And the, some really cool deaths. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, I, I, I really think that considering they probably didn't have a massive budget, the effects were really good. Yeah, and yeah, I, I think it really was someone had an idea and they went for it and... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, it's getting a thumbs up for me. It's absolutely yeah. terrible, but Definitely. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, you know. good good film. Yeah. Great fun, that. Excellent. Again, probably wouldn't spend a tenner on it, but if you see it somewhere, it's worth picking up. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, we've had the world's hottest corn chips, which I'm... Still getting over. Yeah, still um, kind of sideways. Yeah, I mean, some, look, again, some cat do, food. Yeah, the, the, the chips do what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to be a challenge, even for the world's biggest chili heads, you know. And they do what they're supposed to do, you know. So, you know, we can say we've tried the world's hottest corn chips. It would be you know. nice if they were a bit more tasty. Yeah, but, you know. So just for that initial first bit, so you can go, oh, they taste nice. <gasps> like that. Rather than going, hmm. <gasps> I'll do it again. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, we tried your cat food, which mm, uh, yeah. never again. Um, yeah, uh, we did a pretty good film. So yeah, I'm, yeah. Good Today interview. was a good day. Exactly. Join us next time where we try something else, watch something else, and talk more nonsense. Bye bye. bye, -bye.